Hey everybody, um, this is a follow-up to last year's update. Um, it's been quite a while, I know, uh, but I just wanted to share that the project is still in active development and has been. Um, there have been a couple things that I haven't really shared publicly, uh, but essentially the biggest thing is we've rewritten, <laughs> again, I know, uh, in Rust this time, um, which is really something that's been needed from the start. Um, so that way I can focus more on the modding stuff, uh, the stuff that really um, goes deep into the engine. Uh, and then um, Neutron currently is now finally helping me work on the project. Uh, and he's handling stuff like Archon and uh, a lot of the quality of life things. So that way we can kind of deliver a more pro polished um, end result and something you guys will like a lot more. So um, that's kind of the biggest thing. This project's been un underway since I'd say September or so. Uh, but yeah, I'm finally sharing that today because we're essentially where we were uh, in the C++ project um, and actually with a little extra. So I'm going to share some of that today, uh, specifically some details about the modding EPX. I know a lot of you are excited about that. And this, and then finally, I kind of finish up with um, what else has been going on the past year uh, in terms of the project and uh, where we go from here. So um, yes. Yeah, Essentially, modeling API is going to be in Teal, which is a dialect of Lua, um, which is, of course, any of you who've worked with VU know Lua quite well. So uh, don't worry, it's not some big, massive change. Uh, it's not going to take any more effort to get used to. It is Lua, it's just got types. So uh, it's kind of like Rust and Lua together, where um, after defining a variable, you have to give it a type um, if it can't be inferred. And this serves a couple purposes. For one, um, it's, I guess, it, it provides kind of more guardrails for kind of users that, um, it helps, it, 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 in my opinion, I don't know, you could you could debate back and forth on strongly typed and not strongly typed, but I think it'll, it'll help uh, developers kind of keep track of what things are and, um, you know, I guess, bring errors to compile time rather than runtime, which is always good. So um, it's going to be, yeah, in Teal. Um, and also the other benefit we get is uh, VS Code plugin. Um, there is one for Teal already. So I'll just generate a definition file. All that stuff's going to work out of the box. No need some, uh, no need for some uh, other VS Code plugin specifically for the project. Uh, so that's kind of why we chose in Teal. And um, that's under active de development right now. Um, and I will share that with you in a few weeks, kind of once we get a little further on that. But um, what I wanted to show today is kind of a big pain point that's uh, been addressed, uh, I guess, to, to show some sort of progress here um, with modding. So if you've written VU mods, uh, you're probably familiar with data containers disappearing out from under you. So uh, that's been pretty much like, it's a thing of the past now with, with VU, or sorry, WR. So uh, and, and probably VU soon too. Um, I've been talking to Nofate about this a lot. And um, so far I know he has some pretty robust uh, runtime checks to make sure that it tells you when something has uh, been taken out from under you. But I think it's you know better if that doesn't happen in the first place. So of course, if you have a reference to something in Lua and um, say that container unloads for, for one reason or another, either the round switches, which um, that's probably not great in that case because you know leaking um, resources, but um, a more common one is if, if, if nobody's using a weapon anymore, the whole container unloads. So if you have a reference to something like that that you're still actively using, it'll stay alive. All the things that it's referencing are going to stay alive. The array, all the things inside of arrays, everything. So um, no weirdness. Everything is just going to work as expected. Um, of course, that means that you'll have to be a little more frugal. Um, of course, we're not dealing with you know, 256 megabytes of RAM error anymore, but um, it, it's not, of course, if you, it's, it's not good to keep things along um, around more than you have to, but um, essentially, yeah, that's that's kind of the biggest improvement here that I wanted to share, because I know that'll excite some of you guys that have worked a lot with mods uh, with, with VU. So uh, I guess I'll just show you kind of the fact that Rust, uh, the Rust project works. <laughs> um, so, uh, of course, this would all be handled by the launcher, but the launcher does not support the Rust version yet, so I have to do a lot of this stuff manually. But yeah, here's our server window. Not beautiful yet. Um, I don't have 
uh, these implemented yet, uh, kind of the words, but uh, it works generally. Um, and of course, Archon's not entirely complete yet. Um, I could probably connect to it. I'm sure something would happen, but um, I know uh, Neutron's still working on that. And uh, so I, I don't have enough functionality to really make that useful. But as you can tell, we're loading in um, on the Rust platform. Um, everything's Rust now, of course, our back end, everything. And uh, the loading times, as you can tell, are not much different than regular BF4. Spawn in, everything's everything's all loaded in and everything looks good. So, yeah, you don't have to really pay much of a price here. And I think this is kind of a big, kind of almost groundbreaking thing for, for modding and Frostbite. So, um, just wanted to share that, I guess, to, to kind of show you that there is some positive movement. It's not just, you know, rewriting. So... Um, I'll share that modding API stuff with you very shortly as well uh, once I get that more heavily implemented. So um, other work that's been going on in the background is huge, huge work by Nickel um, basically redesigning the game. I'm not going to get into too much detail because that's, gonna, that's, that's details for him to share, but it's a different game, guys. Um, it, is, it is completely different. It's, it's, a, it's so much more modern. It's got so many features from new games. Um, it's just such an improved experience. I think that going back to the Warsaw revamp name, the original goal of the project is to make kind of a better vanilla game. So for those of you that aren't so keen on, you know, getting dirty with, with coding, I think it's going to be a very good experience regardless. So um, I'll let him share more of those details, but uh, just wanted to kind of give a quick update today and show that there is stuff is in progress and, uh, you know, I think I think this is this is a big improvement uh, moving to Rust. Much 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 better stability going on. Um, stability issues were essentially uh, unavoidable with kind of how the old um, WR system was designed. So now we don't have this problem. So I can I'll even show you. I have debugger is connected to both of these, and I'll just quit them. And nothing. Everything's just working. Everything's fine. Everything closed gracefully. So. Um, yeah, I guess that's really all I have for you today, but I just wanted to show you that there is things happening. I know I haven't forgotten about the project, um, and future plans for the project. I'm not going to share too much, but, um, we're pushing hard to meet a certain date, uh, for, uh, not a play test, but a full release because we want you guys to be able to enjoy this. Um, I want to be able to enjoy it. I can't wait to see what you guys make with this, uh, both on the modding API side and I guess mostly modding side. I think it's so cool to just kind of unleash the ability for, for everybody to do that. So that's what I'm really excited about. That's most of my motivation to work on the project, but also the stuff Nickel has done to really just transform the vanilla game. I think that's going to be uh, really cool as long as, you know, players want to play. So um, anyway, I, yeah, that's really, really, I have, ooh, sorry. That's really all I have for you today, but I uh, just wanted to kind of share these details. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer any um, but otherwise, I should make a, a video shortly here. It's not going to be another year, I promise. Um, and uh, showcasing more of the progress. So I'll uh, talk to you later, guys.